Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. The factorial of 34 is a very large number. A student printed out its result from a computer calculation on a slip of paper. But unfortunately four digits are illegible. We call them as A, B, C, and D. Can you restore what those four illegible digits are? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. This question looks complicated, but it's actually not. It's nothing more than a question about factoring and dividing. Let's first write down the procedure of how to calculate the factorial of 34. This gives us some impressions about its factors. Roughly speaking, the positions of C and D are close to the end of the number, whereas the positions of A and B are in the middle. To figure out the digits close to the end of a number, we usually first consider the factors 2 and 5. In particular, we first care about how many digits 0 are there at the end of a number. Out of all the factors, for every pair of 2 and 5, there is one 0 correspondingly at the end. Of this number, the amount of factor 2 is much bigger than the amount of factor 5, which means that there will be enough factor 2. So we just need to count the amount of factor 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Watch out! There are two factor 5 from 25, and another one from 30. We add them up. There are a total of 7 factor 5. Later we will verify that the amount of factor 2 is bigger than 7. So the last 7 digits of this big number are all 0. Then D should be 0. Now let's look at digit C. If we divide this number by 2 and 5 both for 7 times, C becomes the last digit. There is no factor 5 anymore. So factor 2 will be used to figure out this last digit. As we all know, if a number is divisible by 2, or in other words, has one factor of 2, then its last digit must be divisible by 2, such as 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. Of course, since there is no factor 5 anymore, we exclude 0, leaving 4 options. If a number is divisible by 4, or in other words, if it has 2 factor 2, then the number formed by its last two digits is divisible by 4, so that the options of the last digit will be fewer. If a number is divisible by 8, then the number formed by its last three digits is divisible by 8, and the options for the last digit is even further reduced. But in general, the choice is still not unique. Usually, to find the unique option, we can check if the number formed by its last four digits is divisible by 16. However, in our question, it is already sufficient to select the last three digits. The reason for it is that, for a number divisible by 8, if the last second and last third digits of a number are fixed, and if the options of the last digit is still not unique, it can only be 0 or 8. For example, both 160 and 168 are divisible by 8. But in our question, 0 has already been excluded. In the following, we need to check whether this number is indeed divisible by 8. That is, does it have at least 3 factor 2? But please don't forget, we've already used 7 factor 2 when removing the last 7 zeros. So we actually need at least 10 factor 2. But this is not a problem at all. As 32 already has 5, 16 has 4, and 8 has 3, their summation is already bigger than 10. Then let's divide 350c by 8, which is equal to 40 plus 30c divided by 8. To be divisible, C can only be 2. After restoring the digits C and D, let's move on to A and B now. They are located closer to the middle. The easiest way to analyze those digits like this is to consider the divisibility by 9 and 11. Obviously, this number does have a factor of 9 and a factor of 11. Considering the divisibility by 11, we need to add up all the digits at odd places and all the digits at even places of this number separately. The results are 80 plus B and 61 plus A respectively. Their difference equals to 19 plus B minus A, which should be divisible by 11. Now, please don't forget that, as decimal digits, A and B should range between 0 and 9, then B minus A should range between minus 9 and 9. The range of 19 plus B minus A is therefore between 10 and 28. There are two numbers that can be divisible by 11 in this range. 
and they are 11 and 22. That is to say, B minus A may be equal to minus 8. Or it may be equal to 3. If we consider the divisibility by 9, we have to add up 80 plus B and 61 plus A. That is 141 plus B plus A. In this case, we have to consider the range of B plus A. Which should be between 0 and 18. The range of 141 plus B plus A is between 141 and 159. There are also two numbers in this range that are divisible by 9. And they are 144 and 153. That is, B plus A may be equal to 3, or it may be equal to 12. By choosing any pair from the conditions of B minus A and B plus A, we can get a set of solutions. They are, A is equal to 5.5, and B is equal to minus 2.5. A equals 10, and B equals 2. A is equal to 4.5, B is equal to 7.5, as well as A equals 0 and B equals 3. Obviously, only one pair of those results can be decimal numbers. That is, A equals 0, and B equals 3. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.